Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. I hope you're having a good day today. I have right here my sister's two Erin Condren planners and she was coming over here today so she left them here for me to do some reviews on while she went to her hair appointment today. Um, all right, so we're going to talk about these. I have a long unboxing video of her whole order from her 2017-2018 new Erin Condren planner and I also have a whole video telling the way she uses these horizontal planners. These are both horizontal. She uses them for journaling with pictures from her um, Polaroid Zip printer. Sorry, my mind was blank on that. Her Polaroid Zip printer and journaling every day. That's what she uses her Erin Condren's for. She does not use them for planning. So I have a whole video on how that printer works though and how she does that. Today I just wanted to do a short comparison between her colored version of her life planner last year and her neutral version of her life planner this year and talk about a few of those differences for those that may not be familiar or just want a quick view of the two. I love both the covers she picked. We also pointed this out in our other video that these are both rose gold coils. I don't know how well this is showing up in the lighting, but hers have tarnished from last year but it's not something that bothers her so much she understands that's going to happen and so i wouldn't really even say tarnish but they definitely have changed color i don't know if that's technically tarnishing and they have wear and tear and there's parts that are chipped but she understands um and i understand that that's just going to happen. So if you want the rose gold or the gold, we've heard that that just happens. You have to just go with the flow of that. Um, if you don't want that, then you need to stay with the silver. Or I've heard the black is pretty good for not having any damage from other videos I've watched. Okay, so last year, so this is the 2016-2017 version. It's looking thinner because she has torn out some of the months that she didn't use. But this was an originally an 18 month planner also. Okay, but she's torn out some of the months. So this was a 2016 and goes all the way through 2017. And then her neutral this year, she also got the 18 month. So it starts in July of 2017 and goes all the way through the whole year of 2018. She's gonna continue journaling in this. All right. so. In her color, of course, you have the color vellum, and you have your color quote pages, and you have your color months. Now, she has changed the color this year, and I don't have a color version of her painted petals for this year. Um, but if you've watched me in Erin Condren videos, you have seen her colors from last year, and you've kind of seen what it looked like. And you can also see how her paper has made a huge improvement because you can see all that ghosting um, from last year's and that looks like a Sharpie pen to me, but I could be wrong and she's not here to ask. So, um, yep. Okay, so this is her journaling and let's go into here. This is the new Painted Petals Neutral. So she got the neutral this year. We both love how the neutral looks. You have a little bit of color still thrown in there, even in the neutral. There are your look ahead months, your year to glance. These are your planning boxes, which you can use for all the months of the year or anything you want. These are her new monthly um, recap or end pages or beginning pages or goal setting pages, however you want to use them. They are very different from last year, and I've heard mixed reviews on people who like them or people who don't. I'll show you. Last year, it was just a plain notes page with a colored border. Well, it probably wasn't colored if you had the neutral, but that's it. It was a lined note page. So they've changed it this year. Even in the colorful, it just has color. They have the painted petals at the top, and then they have four boxes and everything is with the teeny dots to make the lines which I do like I don't know about the four circles I don't know what I would use that for then you have two headers and two columns of lines and then a big box at the bottom 
So I honestly don't have an idea if I am thinking about getting one of these in journaling like my sister with the Polaroid zip and the pictures for this next calendar year. Um, even though I do chat books and I have a whole video on chat books, if you haven't heard about them and in my video, there's a code for how to get your first chat books free. Um, those are amazing, but I think there's something to the handwritten um, and a real picture like printed that very day. So, okay, so here's like what the color is looking like last year compared to, let's turn to October so we can be in the same month. Okay, we'll look at the monthly spread real quick because I just happened to open it. I love her new neutral monthly spread. Love it. And I go into more detail on this on the whole unboxing and haul video of all the stuff she got. But you can tell the lines in there are the dotted. And I love it. I love how there's no headers. And it's just so clean looking. And just, it's really beautiful to me. And calming. I For my personal preference, I wish there wasn't even a flag there. And no color added to the month. Because I would like it to just be that clean. And a blank slate. I love how she puts the moon phases on her calendar because not all calendars do that and I just find it interesting. And I like how she lists her holidays. That's important to me. So I do like that. Okay, so here is her new horizontal spread. This is what it looks like. Your notes is down here. Let's compare this to last year's color. So it's a huge difference. But you know what, maybe I need to find a blank page where she hasn't put her pictures. So you guys can see that, sorry about that. Okay, so here's an October that we're blank. We're looking at the same side and you can see big differences. I mean, it's just, you have a blank slate to work on here. Now, one thing I will note, let me get my ruler. I wanted to see if these boxes were any smaller. So let's start it right at the line. It's about right on one and three fourths to the top of that header. And start this on the line. And it's one and three fourths. So it's the same. It's just part of it, I included the header in my measurement. Um, and you don't have the header anymore. I just, I love the look of her new font. I love the streamlined look. I, I'm i in love with her neutral. Like I said, I wish that wasn't there. So I really am contemplating possibly um, getting one of these, buying my first Erin Condren planner ever <laughs> to um, journal in like my sister next year and add pictures a day and see if I actually keep up with that. Okay, so those are the big differences other than between the months in the neutral, you still have a little bit of color. They Every month is a different color. They still give you this color with the painted petals. That's also going to be the color of your flag in that month. And it's going to be like October was that peach. November is this blue. And so it's going to switch every month. Like green has the green petals. And I go through all this in my big Erin Condren haul video. I will try to remember to link that below for you guys. But this is what her quote pages looked like last year. It went with the color of the month, but of course it was saturated. Well, that one's stuck. It was saturated with color, okay, with a quote for the month. So this is a very more streamlined, clean look. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna go through in this video. Um, that's a world map, in case you guys didn't know, because I didn't catch that at first, especially only looking at the front when I hadn't looked at the back cover. So if you want more info, watch my full haul and review on this. I just wanted to show a comparison of last year's and this year's and the color versus the neutral. And last year's paper versus this year, there is like, the, it's a huge difference. The tooth feels completely different. In fact, two pages from last year together feel about the same as one page from this year. So it feels really amazing. It's 80 pound paper, which, let me grab my book. 
because I can't remember what GSM that equates to. Um, let's see. Erin Condren has 80 pound text weight paper. The bound planners too, her new bound planners this year also have that. And that equates to 118 GSM. So she has um, a higher pound weight than plum paper. Now she has a higher pound weight than Emily Lay. And you can watch all my videos about those planners and what I think about their paper. Those are all outlined in those individual videos. Passion Planner has 100 GSM. Inkwell has 140 GSM bound, 120 GSM in their quarterly planner. So you can see her 118 is above everything that I know the weight on that I've tried. Um, it's equal to the Leuchtturm paper, except it's a completely different. Oh, no, it's not equal. I'm sorry. I was looking at GSM versus pound, and that's why I have to write all this out. Okay, hers is 118 GSM. Leuchtturm is only 80 GSM. But it's completely different paper anyway. Um, so hers is only right behind the Inkwell 140 bound. So she really stepped up her game getting up to 118 GSM. It's pretty much the same as the Inkwell quarterly paper, except I can tell you that they don't use the same paper. So Inkwell does not use Mohawk paper because I can tell they're different. But anyway, those are the different weights that I have recorded and try to keep track of for myself and for you guys so I don't give false information. All right, that was my comparison of the 2017 versus the 2018 and the color versus the neutral. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for supporting. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to catch up with me on Instagram, I'm at Amanda's Favorites and I post there quite a bit. All right, guys, thanks. Have a great day. See you next time.